two of the NCAA East Region Tournament featuring the second-seeded Bentley University Falcons and the seventh-seeded Dominican University Chargers. Good afternoon. Bentley works it around the perimeter. And here's a man who's so good around the rim, scoring. And the shot by Leritz is blocked off the glass by Cotman. But there for the putback is LaPut. Clinton wants to avoid that kind of a situation again here. So far, so good through two and a half minutes. Leritz backing in, spins off the pivot foot and lays it up in and off the right glass. He is so good Leritz around to six to ten feet from the rim. At right, Kinsey on the right wing, working on Cotman. And the lefty fires his first jumper of the game. It's long, but the weak side rebound to Leritz. Latham bounce entry to Leritz. He puts it up and in off the right side before the defense could even get ready. So far, so good for Bentley. And Leritz obviously has been a big part of their success on the offensive end this season. He's replaced by Isaac Martin into the game for the first time, holding the basketball. Now LaPutte will drive left baseline, looking for his first bucket, and actually a second, and he scores. And now Latham splits defenders, lays it up and in with a quick move off the right glass. Well, he's got that in the conference, gets it. One of their best defenders, as we know. Correct. As well. Block shots. Here's a three-pointer by Martin, and it's good. And anytime you can get any bench points yeah. for Bentley, it's a boost. Yep. On both blocks, good interior pass leads to Webb. Webb, an angle pass out to Martin. He hits another three, and we have a loose ball foul underneath. Four. Said the Falcons work it around the perimeter. LaPut backing in, flips it over his shoulder and in. On the weak side by Wright Kinsey. Ball fake by LaPut. Kicks it out left side. Three pointer Latham. Actually, yeah, that's Latham with the three. So a broken. A high percentage look from just outside the painted area. Chargers have got to be a little more consistent with moving the ball and creating good shots. It's a simple game, isn't it, right? Movement. Right. It's easy to say, hard to preach. And there's another three. This one coming from Brian Wright Kinsey. He's the third different Falcon. To settle down, make at least three or four passes before the shot goes up, not one or two. And here are a bunch of passes for Bentley, yeah. almost everyone touching it on this possession. Now everyone has, as Leyritz has it, left blocks. Spin move down low, he's fouled. The shot is good off the left glass. Bye -bye. Webb jumps a pass to Latham, top of the key, working on Johnson, his counterpart at number 11. Pass miss, uh, missed its intended receiver, but it came back to another Bentley player. Latham for a three, falling backwards, good. And jokes where you can't stop him, mm -hmm. no matter what kind of defense you play on him. Right, Kinsey hard to the hole and scores. That's a veteran move from a fifth-year guy for Dominican. They had him on the roster, but he made his debut week before Christmas at a tournament in Las Vegas. Had the game-winning shot in his first game. That's one way to welcome yourself in, huh? Yep, Webb takes the foul line jumper and knocks it down. He's been... That's one thing we haven't seen enough of from the Chargers either, that dribble penetration setting up the perimeter jump shot. Webb takes the well-defended two, and he... Knocks ...with a shoulder, elbow, if necessary, but get yourself a high percentage look. That's become a priority, and it's paid off for Dominican. Well put, quick catch and shoot on the baseline, and the jumper... The offensive end is a cherry on the Sunday, I think, for this Bentley team. Right. Bentley with LaPutte, Leyritz, and this man, Mason Webb, all made all conference this year, but right here. Bentley puts it in play. Leyritz hands off Latham. Latham, angle drive. Now top of the key, reverse it to the left side, and LaPutte, well defended this time. Backs in, lays it up, off glass and good. I don't know how he did that. It looked like he was stumbling, but... Latham thought about the shot instead. A nice bounce entry to Latham. His shot's blocked for the third time. Gets it back, puts it in. Boy, resilience could be his middle name today. Hand off to Wright Kinsey coming around the curl. Nice Finds pass. Leyritz on the give and go and misses the putback though by LaPut. His second LaPut back of the game. Bentley. And uh, Joe Clinton wants some fouls called, but none uh, coming. Here's a three pointer by LaPut. He finally nails a triple. As Webb on the left side. Now LaPut looking to work again. He's got a game high 18. Ball fakes. Now backing in into the paint. Kick out. Good ball movement. Bohenic a three in the corner. Good. Kellen Bohenic becomes the seventh Falcon to score. And it's ballooned to a 26 point margin. And Ram in the next game. So Bentley solves the press. And now they have 15 seconds with which to work in the front court. Zach LaPutte trying to put the move on Merrill and lost his footing, and they don't call the travel. And uh, that's going to make uh, the... I think that was a good look. It was within rhythm. 
Again, inside out, all set up by the dribble penetration. That's normally a shot he hits. Laput to Latham on the bounce pass, and he knew what to do with it. Yeah, excellent. Point lead for the Falcons. Yeah. Here's Wright Kinsey going hard to the hole. The hesitation and the score. A little miscommunication on the back side. Mason Webb. Laput jumps it past to Webb. Dominican's in a little bit of a jump trap here, trying to force something. Webb forcing a shot off the left baseline and good on the fall away. Good job by Bentley back at the, what, minute and a half mark to say, you know, if we didn't turn it over twice in the right. bar, if we didn't miss two free throws, then we'd probably be on the bus guy. Second shot good for Latham. He's four or four from the line down the stretch. Teachable moments are always better when you're winning. You gotta learn to close teams out, too. And I'm not saying they don't know that. Last shot no good for Dominican, and that'll wrap it up. Boy, it was a 19-point game at halftime. Ballooned to 26 in the second half, and Dominican made it interesting down the stretch, cutting it to eight four times in the final minute before succumbing 77 to 67, leading the way. Thank you very much, guys. Zach, 20 points for you. What's going through your head, though, as Dominican's kind of making that last ditch push to get back in the game? I mean, they're a really tough team, and we knew we couldn't give up from the beginning of the game. That's what they do. Sometimes they're behind games 20, 30, and they can always come back just because their intensity and their pressure, and we knew we had to stay tough, stay together, and keep talking as a team, and we, were, we got lucky a little bit. Seems like the defense really clamped down for you towards the end of the first half and for a good chunk of the second half. How, how were you able to sort of limit their good luck? Yeah, we, we were really trying to jam the lane against them, and we did a bad job of that to start the game, and then I thought we picked it up when we started playing our best defense. That, when we were at our best, when we were jamming the lane. All right, congratulations on the victory. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Coach, got a little hairy there for you guys at the end, but you're able to pull out the victory. Yeah, obviously you want to handle the ball and the pressure better than that. Um, we usually do, but they're also really athletic, quick, and old. And they're not going to, teams that are going to be here at this point are not going to quit, and they're also very good. So at least we got, got what we had to get. I imagine you're pretty happy with the offensive output today. You guys usually like to have sort of a diversity of scoring, and it seemed like you got a lot of different contributors throughout the game. Yeah, the way we play, we try to move the ball. We don't call a lot of things. The defense kind of dictates who's open, and I think when that happens, we're usually going to have a few guys scoring the ball. Right, congratulations on the victory. Good luck tomorrow.